to the finals. So uh, let's go to uh, Keith for the introductions of our next match. Subpar ring announcer. The uh, following match is for the EWA Sweet 16 tournament, and it is scheduled for one fall. Good job, you're Announcing breaking in. First, weighing in at 135 pounds from Dundalk, Maryland, making uh, his EWA main roster debut, Ray Set Jacob Jack. You know, I couldn't help but notice there's a lot of this going around lately, but did you happen to notice that Jacob Jet's mommy dropped him off today? <laughs> Does yeah. she talk to Trent? Actually, it was permanently. Talk, talk to Trent's man. Oh, God. From West Virginia, Walked into that one. And a slim trim 213, he is John Byrne. To go along with the comment there, yeah, we should do the WCW thing, uh, the Turner Network thing called International Objects. Mm -hmm. Foreign is, uh, and it appears John Berg has, yeah, so Well, I wouldn't That's expect weird. any of that in this match there. Uh, John Berg both. himself, very clean wrestler. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay, he got rid of the phone, okay. Well, he's a busy man. And I am fretting for a. Uh, and Jacob I agree. Jets. I agree with John. I'd expect the international foreign objects to be in little Jacob Jet here. Or what? What do you say his new name is? One, two, three, go. What's his nickname? Okay, go. All right. Here's the bell. And uh, I, I was gonna say I, I fret for Jacob Jet and his, his chest cavity because. If uh, John Bird gets one of those uh, ham hock type, uh, oh look at that! Wait, wait, small package one two. Jacob Jet, wow! Jacob Jet trying to do the smart thing here, and he is trying to uh, end this one early because if uh, John John Bird gets one of those uh, those ham hocks to uh, Jacob Jet's chest, uh, well, as we know, Jacob does have a history of being pretty fragile. He got a little leg boot. Not that long ago from the Christian Little Academy. Lake. Oh, no, wait a minute. No, oh, another uh -huh. quick flash roll up. It was not just a leg boo boo. Sure, it he, was. Are you blind? He was. No, I'm not. He, he, his leg was. Uh, his uh, knee was nearly dislocated from the rest of his body. Oh, and oh, wait, wait, wait. What's this? Whoa, whoa. Oh, he's going for the last chancery. Oh. And, you gotta, and Jacob's got to watch his shoulders being yeah. pinned to the mat. This is his finisher. So, man, you want to talk about a killer instinct. He's going for it early. The last chancery, his big finish. Yep. John Burt powers out of that, though. Oh. oh! Speaking of heavy chops. John Burt's like, oh, wait, that's I, how that feels. Uh-oh. This is how it goes. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. There you go. Come on. That's oh. right, little boy. You want to dish it out? Can you take it? Oh, he's going to have a handprint on his chest for two uh -huh. weeks. Oh. Uh, he could hold him all day. Oh, there's a power slam. And that's going to set up that uh, twisting Parkville jam, I imagine, that uh, he loves so much to use. Utilize as a finisher. Oh. That's it, and I, uh, I'm going to say it's curtains for uh, Mr. Jet. Well, of course. Did you expect anything less? Again, poor Jacob, he's the kind of guy. Did you know that his parents used to pack his lunch and you know what they used to put in it? What? A one-way ticket to Los Angeles. They didn't want anything to do with the kid. Oh, my. Figure, ship him out there with the rest of the wannabes. Yeah, jeez. Well, you know, we kind of figured that this may be the way it was going, but, oh. man, I tell you. Yeah, that. well, there's a sign of respect from... Uh, Mentor uh, to mentee. And here I thought John had something in him there, too. You don't do that type of stuff. If you're going to do that type of stuff, shake hands and everything, you don't have any place in the wrestling business. Well, I mean... Well, you got to be tough. Well, that's your opinion. Not like but, Jacob. Uh,